it's really great now that the studies, because I used to have that argument in theory, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And now, you know, there's so many things that we can pull back to, like, you know, the studies around uh, plantar fasciitis, you know, where we're looking at, I, I can't remember the exact percentage, but it's like 96, 98% of imaging of plantar fasciitis cases, which, you know, terminology means overuse of that plantar fascia and both MRI, ultrasound, and even biopsies are confirming that it's all underuse. It's related to atrophy of the muscles, lack of blood flow, creating, ten, you know, uh, tendinopathy issues. Like it's, it's the complete opposite of what people think. But yeah, I, if I, if every day I wake up and I band, you know, I wrap up my elbow, what's going to happen? I'm going to end up having injuries in that arm because it's going to get weak. I'm going to end up with injuries elsewhere in my body because of the compensatory patterns that kick in and the overuse of those other areas because of those imbalances. I mean, it's just a flat, simple truth. We're actually removing the ability to have adaptation because we're no longer challenging or even we're teaching our, ourselves to be reliant on this passive structure. So we're actually doing the opposite.